Hi friends, welcome back to Anna Neil School English channel. So in today's video, I'm going to try one of the latest designs, which is like a uh, aqua uh, bubble kind of design. So this is a sea themed design as you can see on the screen. So let's see how I did it. But before I start, please consider subscribing to my channel. And also if you wish to see this tutorial in Hindi, please head out to my Hindi channel. I'll leave the links in the description box. So now let's begin with the tutorial. So here is my client's nails as you can see she has really beautiful natural nails she is more of a uh, temporary extension or you can say press on nail person uh, so be, she barely does uh, extension so we wanted to try something different and that's the reason we decided to go with the latest trending design so here what I'm doing is I'm starting with the dry manicure so for extensions a lot of people have this question why my extension is not lasting like uh, four weeks five weeks uh, the main reason for extensions uh, not lasting is because you are not doing the prep work right okay so 80 percent of the time it's the prep work and the remaining 20 percentage is how you are applying the product and then the quality of the product etc but the main main culprit of your uh, lifting is your prep work okay so first i started with pushing back the cuticle i pushed back all the cuticle and then i started doing dry manicure with my e-file so here as you can see i'm using a um, diamond bit uh, this particular bit is called a flame bit and i'm using my machine at a 18,000 rpm speed and here when i'm doing the right side i'm using the reverse mode and when i do the left side cleaning then i use my forward mode okay so when you're using the efl make sure you're not going like a uh, long moves when you're starting just go small portion small uh, areas and then just keep on going and make sure that there is nothing on the nail plate just you have to clean all the dead skin for some clients uh, you may not realize but the nail plate it looks like nail plate but actually there is dead skin stuck on the nails with like a lot of oil and all so you don't see it but when you move your hand file or your electric file that's when you see something white white coming out but that doesn't mean you over file and remove the actual nail plate okay you only remove whatever dead skin on the uh, nail plate and also the shine from the nail plate okay so as you can see i have almost finished uh, you know doing the dry manicure at one side once this is done I am going to switch to a hand file and I'm going to buff the shine from the nail plate you can do this again with uh, electric file itself uh, or you can also use a hand file so here I'm using a hand file so I'm using 100 180 grit hand file so I'm going to use the 180 side I start with the cuticle area as you can see I'm holding the fingers from the top side and then I'm buffing it so here I don't put so much pressure but I have a little pressure just to make sure that the shine is like gone from the nail plate at the same time I'm not over filing the nail plate also okay so if you over file what will happen the customer's nail the client's nail will come will become very thin and then obviously they will complain when they take off the nails right so here uh, as you have seen i have removed all the shine and once this is done i'm going to remove the dead skin from the epinecum area for that i'm using cards uh, cuticle nipper you can either use a cuticle nipper or you can use a cuticle scissor so whatever you are using just make sure it has a really good sharp uh, you know blade so that the cutting is really easy do not pull the skin when you cut it you just have to gentle slightly you push so just showing you once again so as you can see using the tip of the nipper i'm just trimming the edges so some clients you may not have to do this but some clients you have to do this maybe some clients they will have like a lot of hang nails and all so you have to make sure that everything is trimmed and the uh, nail is totally clean okay After completing the trimming, I'm using my lint-free and alcohol wire uh, to clean the nail plate. So we have to make sure that there is nothing on the nail plate. Okay. And then I measured the uh, tips and then uh, I started prepping my tips. So this is a tip or a uh, technique for the beginner so when before you apply the tip you can use your hand file and just file and remove the extra thickness from the uh, tip so i'm using a square deep square uh, tip uh, french tip actually so i only use french tip or nail forms i don't use any other kind of tips so i'm just prep the tip uh, so 
by doing this you when you actually apply the nail uh, the tips on the nail uh, again you have to blend it with your natural nail so once we have already filed half of the thickness you don't have to file too much and you can avoid over filing the natural nails okay so now here i'm using the nail glue i'm applying the nail glue at the tip of the uh, tip and then i'm going to apply this to the uh, fingers so here i'm holding the finger straight and then i'm going to attach the tip to her nail plate so when i'm applying all i'm doing is uh, making sure that the side corners the tip is covering both the side corners i'm not going all the way to the middle or towards the cuticle i'm just attaching the tip at the edge of the nail plate okay so just make sure the tips are straight and there is no gap gap between the tip and the natural nail plate and uh, once this is done we can trim and ask the client for if they are looking for any particular shape and what a length they would like to have on their extensions okay so here i'm trimming down the length as per my client's wish uh, i'm using a cuticle nipper so this is very easy to cut uh, just make sure that your glue is completely dried the glue i'm using is like really fast drying so i was able to trim it so when you um, are you using like slow drying glue then you have to just wait a little bit okay now again i'm going to file and blend the tip so as i just mentioned since we already buffed the thickness of the uh, tip before i don't have to really do much filing here okay uh, and this is also safe because we are not going to damage the client's nail and make sure your your file is only touching the tip the plastic tip not the nail plate okay just make sure you are blending it and then gently puff off the shine from the tip as well you don't have to do like rigorous filing just make sure that there is no shiny edges just gently buff after that again i'm using the same lint free wipe uh, and alcohol to clean the nail plate we have to make sure there is no dust or anything on the nail plate before we do the product application okay so that is very important and once we clean the nail plate we are going to start with um, a dehydrator application so i'm using model 1's dehydrator you can use any brand's dehydrator so dehydrator basically what it does is it removes any oil moisture uh, that is there on the nail plate it removes it and the dehydrator immediately evaporates from the nail plate as well okay so after the dehydrator we are going to apply primer again the primer is from uh, the same brand model ones so uh, again the primer when you apply the primer make sure that you are only applying a very thin layer not like too much of primer just a very thin layer and now it's time for us to start with our design okay so for that uh, i'm not starting any acrylic right now i took a gel polish again from the brand uh, model ones it's a deep blue color so i'm going to apply this blue color on to the tip okay i haven't started the acrylic application yet i'm starting with this gel polish application here okay so uh, as you can see i'm not covering the whole nails i'm covering the tip completely here i'm leaving her nail plate and i'm going to apply this and then i'm going to send it for curing okay so i did two layers of application and then i send it for curing after curing i'm going to use a milky white uh, gel polish so this is from the brand called canny so uh, uh, after curing the blue gel polish i'm going to apply this milky white on top of it so this is how i'm applying so this is a new uh, launched collection from canny so this is a hema free gel polish i really love this the brush and the consistency uh, everything is like so beautiful okay so uh, we applied the milky white and then i have a no wipe top coat on my palette and using a dotting tool i'm creating a ripple effect on the nail so as you can see as soon as i'm um, leaving that uh, clear top coat it creates like small small ripples on the nails right so this is that ocean or swimming pool uh, ripple effect that we are creating here and once this is done uh, i recommend you either do a flash cure or you send it for like at least 15 20 second curing and then you move on to the next finger next step is to encapsulate it with a clear acrylic so as you have seen i'm using glam and glitz back to basic clear acrylic so here i'm not doing like too much of application i'm applying uh, like a thin layer of acrylic uh, on top of it because we have to do like a, a ombre with a nude color after this uh, again then i'm going to Uh, like uh, encapsulate that ombre effect also so this is like a very thin application of acrylic and i'm going to do it on all the fingers
after the clear application now i have uh, switched to a different acrylic so this is from mia secret and uh, it's called cover pink acrylic uh, it this has like a very uh, tiny uh, shimmery effect also so i'm going to use this to create the ombre effect so it will give you like a, a beach sand effect because the color is somewhat similar to the sand here so uh, i place the bead here and then i'm going to create like a slight blending between the ocean effect we created and the uh, beige color or the uh, cover pink color that i have used okay and then we will go on and create the uh, uh, what we call the cuticle application After the cuticle application, I again I'm using the clear acrylic to build up the overall structure of the nail. So here I'm applying the uh, clear acrylic. Even on top of the cover color I used, I'm just covering it. But I'm making sure that there is a smooth transition between the clear and the rest of the base. So after application, it's time for us to file and shape. So again, I'm using my hand file, starting from the sides, uh, just uh, giving like a rough shaping on the side walls and the free edge. And then I'm going to file uh, from one corner. Uh, first, I start from the cuticle area, then the free edge area, and then go to the other side and then do the same. And then overall, I blend the filing. And after filing, just uh, buff it and then dust off. And then uh, it's time for us to clean it and then apply top coat. So this is how the nails looks like before the top coat and the matte look is also like really cute uh, now but we decided to go with a glossy finish so here I'm using a no white top coat to seal my design so whenever you do this kind of advanced designs uh, with acrylic and like different methods uh, the best part is you don't have to apply a gel color. Uh, you can directly put the top coat on and then you will have like your final look okay so after doing this i added some charms and stuff uh, and then i also decided to add a starfish so i uh, took a little white gel polish added a little clear and then i created the starfish and i poured again some clear acrylic and then cured it and after everything is done this is how the nails looks like i really loved it and even my client loved it i hope you guys also liked it if you like this video if you like the tutorial please don't forget to subscribe to the channel uh, like this video leave some comments even a uh, emoji is fine but at least do something and then um i'll see you soon on my next video until then stay safe stay happy thank you for watching Bye bye